just where it was needed. such a quick walk it's literally like f not even five minutes <laughs> but you know I feel like getting ready anyway because why not it's Friday and, and yeah I don't have any other reason <laughs> just grab my face mask and uh, let's go Luckily, um, and it's just three hours. Um, sorry if the lighting is really, really dark. Um, but yeah, I have a lecture in like one hour and I'm just gonna do a little bit of research for my group project that we have coming up. Um, so, and I have like a lot of assignments actually due on the same day, which is Monday. Um, and also today I started my period. And like I had a feeling it was coming. Um, my body just kind of felt off and I always know, like I could just tell like, okay, this is gonna be the day. Um, so, and for me, it most times it's very, very intense. So I get like sometimes really bad stomach aches or like um, just like heavy fatigue and, and, a, and a headache. So I'm just kind of reminding myself, okay, um, I'm gonna adjust my next few days to this cycle because it really does, I think, it just helps me get things done, but also in an efficient way so I don't have to struggle through everything that I have to do. So sometimes that means different types of workouts and like lighter ones that are more like breathing focused or sometimes it even looks like be coffee being switched out for tea instead since caffeine like will affect me differently <laughs> during my cycle so it's really just like paying attention and checking in with myself like what do I need right now or like um, just kind of listening to my own body and taking the necessary breaks that I need to because I think it's really important if you need to get a lot of things done I personally can't just like mow through um, and I used to do that, but it just like wasn't working and then I would just end up kind of like stressed out. So for me, uh, yeah, during your cycle or whenever you just have a lot to do, like be self-compassionate and let yourself be vulnerable. Let yourself feel whatever you need to in that moment. It's perfectly okay. Um, and it's going to pass. So yeah, I'm just going to get through this uni work and and kind of you know take my self-care breaks today since there is a lot of work to be done today and tomorrow but as long as you have a good balance like I think a lot of things are or all things are pretty possible no matter how busy you are so 
let's get into this uh, <laughs> to this research and I'll hear you guys in a bit. So I just finished my lecture. Um, yeah, that was uh, from 1 to 3.45 on a Friday. So I, I've been sitting for far too long, I feel like. So I think what I'm gonna do is motivate myself to do just like at least 30 minutes of some type of like light exercise today. Um, I think I'm just gonna look up a YouTube video and do some type of Pilates um, workout, but yeah, so I'm gonna get changed and get on the mat. Hi guys, I'm going to get ready for my workout, but before I did, I just wanted to give you a quick um, little update that two days ago I um, was making coffee and something dropped and it like fell onto the the glass that I like just poured hot boiling water into and then it knocked the glass onto my leg so yeah right now I have this like pretty big burn from here to here and um, it's like the doctor said it's kind of like a second degree burn or like first second so luckily it's not like open or anything like this but it is it is very like discolored and and red and getting dark already i've noticed since the second day of it happening so yeah i've just been treating it with like vaseline and like antibacterial stuff just trying so hard and to avoid the possibility of infection because um, that was my biggest thing about this and yeah I mean <laughs> not the best life to update but I guess these things do happen um, so just have to be super careful from now on and um, yeah I was just thinking like I was so tired that morning so maybe it's just kind of like a little bit of a Reminder, I need to be more mindful when I'm doing things um, and to slow down, of course, because I knew I had a busy day as well when the burn happened. Um, so yeah, also I'm just trying to be as self-compassionate as I can with this and um, I'm going to let it heal on its own. I know this, this whole healing process isn't in my control, so just trying to keep that in mind with it um, and... Yeah, if you guys also have any recommendations of any good scar creams that have worked for you in the past, please, please, um, you can leave a comment below just because I want to get a good one and I know the earlier you start, the better and the more effective it will work. So, um, yeah, let me know. The one I found is Mederma or Mederma. I heard good things about that, so... Yeah, let me know if you, if you guys have heard of it or if it worked for you. So, yeah, that's my life update. Um, and, yeah, I'm just going to do a little light exercise right now, like maybe 25 to 30 minutes. And just get a little sweat in just because, yeah, I was sitting for so long. Um, and I don't want to, like, overdo it just because I just hurt my leg two days ago. So... Do a nice light Pilates class today, I think, and get some stretching in. So, let's go. Hi guys, I just um, ordered some food from Uber Eats tonight and I got some Vapianos, which is like this Italian chain that they have in Europe. Um, I don't know what it is about Vapianos and me, but like honestly, it's just my go-to um, guilty pleasure restaurant to order from. I get the pasta bolognese with fusilli and yeah, it's it's amazing. So, got my Vapianos and um, until then, I think I'm just gonna enjoy this well-deserved glass of wine after a very long day of university work. Also, I'm, I'm sure I read somewhere that wine is good for cramps <laughs> and um, yeah, I think tonight I kind of want to watch a movie and I don't know why I have this inclination to watch Devil Wears Prada, but it just kind of feels right. So I'm gonna watch a movie and I think, yeah, I'm just gonna play the rest by ear. Maybe work a little bit on a literature review. We'll see how I'm feeling after this class. And um, 
yeah, so cheers, loves. Okay, so the little bowl is done and this is the yogurt that I've been getting and it's from Alpro. Um, I don't know why I really like this one. Um, to be completely honest with you guys, it kind of doesn't really have a lot of taste. It's just <laughs> there's something about the texture, you know, like it's like very whipped. <laughs> I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so look, it's like very fluffy. That's the word I'm looking for. Like it's very fluffy and um, it bare. It just kind of tastes like a less um, strong tart, like natural yogurt. Um, and it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it, so I don't know if that was actually. This is too much now at this point, but whatever. Okay, so I guess I'm out of memory card, so that's why I'm like camera keeps <laughs> turning off um so yeah this is my bowl i'm gonna add some of this really good um new spur muesli and it's like this triple chocolate one honestly i only eat it because there's these chocolate chunks in it frankly i just pull them out and eat them usually separately this is the yogurt bowl <laughs> i even put grapes on it because i was feeling bold and yeah, if you're thinking it looks more like a dessert, you're probably right, but this is just really good in the morning if you're like kind of craving something sweet. So I need some breakfast. Hi guys, so I just finished watching a beautiful sunset. Um, I didn't want to film it just because I was just too busy enjoying it, honestly. Um, so right now I'm gonna go pick up some uh, Brand Pilsner from the grocery store because I've been working on this literature review for I think Five hours straight now. So I'm gonna go get some Pilsner and then I'm gonna cook dinner in a little bit, but continue working on this So let's go it's Another day another stir fry I'm gonna eat some dinner and take a short break from my uh, group project so You guys, you know what? You're at that point of like your research when just everything that you're writing and reading, it just looks like words <laughs> without any meaning whatsoever. Like, yeah, I've reached that point in my research where yeah, nothing really makes sense anymore. I've been on this for like seven hours, I think, and I'm doing the literature review portion of our project. And it is hard on a project to write cohesively, like everyone working on it together. Um, and there's just so much information and, and sources that are put in, so it's now 10.19 here, and I think I'm just gonna work on this literally until I can't <laughs> anymore like I physically just can't I still have a little bit more energy in me I've cracked open the Kit Kats and I'm just gonna power through this because like I don't want to be stressed tomorrow because I have to work on another project as well um so yeah I just thought I'd say hi and that's what's going on here on a Saturday Okay, you guys, I just um, like finished up a closing sentence in my research. I think I'm gonna call it a night because I can no longer see properly or um, I can't write another word. So I'm just gonna wake up early tomorrow and um, just finish up with it. And yeah, so. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.